Hey YouTube, hope you guys are well. Uh, I wasn't, I wasn't keen on doing this video because um, I don't want to get involved in a back and forth with Rob over, uh, particularly with volatile emotional style content. But anyway, um, here it is. Lots of people have been saying, Ryan, I want, want to hear your story, um, your side of it. So anyway, here it is. So to give you uh, a reminder of the timelines of how the whole. Uh, even a possibility of a match with Rob came about. WAL made a post saying who should face Rob this year in 2021. Uh, my name was tagged a lot in that Instagram post. Um, because of that, I put out a video saying, hey, yeah, I'd be ready. Ready anytime. Um, so it wasn't a call out from me. It was a, an acknowledgement of people tagging me in a WAL post. Um, Rob put out a response, um, and naturally then, um, in multiple forums, there was banter back and forth. Um, yeah, from there, we were both involved in the Arm PR episode. Um, Rob didn't like my curl. I put out a response saying, wow, I'm surprised Rob's reaction was so significant to the curl. Um... He then said, if you want to match with me, uh, oh, pause, Mr. Step. In, in that conversation, there was um, uh, talks. I, I made comments about I think my side pressure was better than his. I acknowledged that his back pressure hand and all that sort of stuff was better. And that eventuated to the point where I think Rob said, look, well, if you want to match with me, you can have a drug test at 50K. And I, and, he, and I think that was initially as a deterrent from him because uh, he, he didn't want the match at all. Um, but the way I think, I was straight away like, well, let's 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 not just leave that dead in the water. Let's see if we can make it happen. And I made the made the video saying, yeah, let's let's do it, man. Let's let's do it. We we started down that path, um, and the initial contribution that I was uh, willing to make through pound for pound was $20,000. Um, $20,000, uh, and through initial conversations, as, as per ro what Rob said, we do it, we spoke with Neil and on a three way call for the purpose of just, um, keeping everyone on the same page. And, uh, on that conversation, it was my understanding that we agreed, uh, at the time, to a one-third split, a one-third match fee, fight for the other third. Uh, one for one-third match fee each, plus fight for the other third. And obviously there was the covering of the testing expenses as well. Um, testing expenses were in the ballpark of 10K. We didn't have that locked down, we didn't know exactly, but that's what we were kind of anticipating. Uh, some time went by, Things moving on, trying to uh, get an understanding of where things were, and um, then uh, Rob and I spoke through text. Um, I think, uh, and he made mention that uh, if 20k was was all that it was, then he would need all 10. Uh, and he and he explained why he needed all 10, and I, and I get his reasoning, um, just like the map mask and his guess for anything. Needed all 10 because. Um, he didn't really want the match. He was willing to do the match, um, but 10 would be the minimum he could take in order to, uh, make it, make it enough worth his time to travel and have the match. So he wanted the 10 match fee minimum. Um, that didn't work with me simply because I couldn't afford to just give him that 10k match fee if this was the minimum, if we didn't raise anything in addition to the 20k. I couldn't afford that because I would have had to do travel. And so I, my, my counter to that was, look, man, I can't do that. That's a critical disagreement for me. Of the 20K, I would need 3K of that to cover my travel expenses. And then I would appreciate it if we fought uh, for the balance. Um, obviously with 3K being a match fee to him as well. So it would have left 4K as a, uh, as the fight for the, or as the prize for the win. Um, and yeah. Unable to to agree on that, and uh, and like I said, I get why he why he wanted the ten. For the, like I, I get it. That's cool. 
um, for a match that he's not after. Um, that's fair enough. And that's kind of where it, it stopped for me. Honestly, it stopped right there. Uh, he didn't see it worthwhile with less than 10. And I uh, couldn't afford to, to give it to him. Um, the 50k was the goal. The 50k uh, was the goal. And for that to happen, really needed to um, be on the same page. Really needed to be working together to bring value to the situation. Uh, there was revenue streams were proposed uh, through through a number of different ways. Uh, outside of third party sponsors, there was obviously revenue um, that could be generated through the live stream of the match. And the proposal from me was to um, network with a number of very significantly large YouTube channels um, and revenue share with them. Uh, hire a professional uh, videography crew and have that feed from the professional videography crew live streamed through a number of big channels. And those big channels, you can imagine people like Devin and Larry and Eddie Hall, whatever. Um, it was going to be, the, the, the proposal was that I would um, negotiate with those channels uh, for a revenue split of the money that their channel made from that video. Um, and that revenue would be contributed to the overall pot um, that Rob and I would be fighting for. Um, so that was one ma method of, uh, that I intended on doing to help push it towards 50. And then of course, if we had all those extra big channels, uh, on board, then we would have something to go to, f uh, more third party sponsors with to say, Hey, look, this match is going to be broadcast through this channel, that channel, this channel, that channel, um, with a total subscriber base of this. Uh, would you like to be a third party sponsor? And so that was, that was the basic structure that I was uh, intending on using. However, um, for that structure to be uh, possible and for that structure to, uh, for me to have confidence that the match was going to happen and, and that I needed to basically have that agreement that at the absolute base level, we were going to minimum um, share it the way I, just, I, I described it earlier on. I wasn't willing to personally take the, I, I couldn't afford um, a 25k, uh, ne a negative 25k start point. Now people, people will ask the question: Is it is it Ryan's money? Is it Ryan's business? It was. It's it's my money that I was doing this from. It's my money through my business that I was willing to contribute. Um, so it wasn't a personal bet. It was I was and and this is another thing. Uh, Rob initially in his uh, offer of the 50k match drug test, it was, he wanted it to be a personal bet. Wanted it to be, he puts 50 grand down, I put 50 grand down. And, and that was never, in my opinion, I was never comfortable with that. I was never gonna do that. And um, I don't think many people would be willing to bet $50,000, their own personal money. It's just kind of too much. And, uh, and Rob knew that, and that's I think why he put it out there initially as, as a deterrent, because he's, he's confident, obviously, in the win. Um, but, for me, uh, I would have personally, uh, as an arm wrestler, in a, in a personal financial sense, been happy to just break even in this um, and get the opportunity for the match. To me, that's awesome. What I was hoping to do was was bring Rob value, uh, make Rob's payday, uh, even if he was to lose, something significant, and, um, and I was happy to break even personally, um, even take a bit of a loss personally. Um, for that opportunity. As an arm wrestler, I really value such opportunities to face guys that are significantly above me. It's always been how I grow in the sport, and it's always been a great method for me to progress. And for me, that's what I was after. Um, there was obviously a benefit to the the um, the attention that this match could get, and uh, the growth of uh, my YouTube channel, the growth of Pound for Pound Arm Wrestling, all those sorts of things were potentials. But there is ultimately a limit to how much I can reach into the future earnings of the business and commit to it. And, uh, and it was just a little too much and we, uh, couldn't agree on that. And then, like I said, I don't want to get involved in an emotional back and forth with Rob. Um, I'm, I'm really not keen on that. Uh, so yeah, some of the other random things that, uh, like I said, Rob's, Rob's vented now on YouTube and done his thing. That's cool. 
um, the drug testing thing and all that sort of stuff was a was a big part of what Rob wanted and I appreciated that and I, I was very open with Rob and told him that look I have taken stuff in the past um, and I was I was I did that for the transparency between Rob and I I didn't want him to um, uh, I didn't want him to not know that and given the drug testing was going to occur um, I have no idea whether something was going to come up and I wanted to be very open with Rob saying hey look in the past I've taken stuff and uh, yeah, it might come up, I don't know, wouldn't wouldn't have a clue. But that was something that I wanted to clear with Rob personally and uh, interestingly I did say, Rob look I'd appreciate if this wasn't something public, if you didn't uh, share this. So anyway, he's he's decided to go and share that but so be it. Um, like I said, yeah, I'm happy to say, um, I'm happy to say look I have yet taken stuff in the past that's on the water ban list uh, and I did that. I did that prior to the Zloty tour, um, but like I said, I did. I said that to Rob, and I was happy to say that. But I was. This isn't. A, this isn't something that I really just want to just happily tell everyone uh, what's going on. Like it's just not the conversation that I, I want to have. But I had that conversation with Rob um, out of respect for the match in the way that Rob wanted it. Rob very much wanted this to be a very much a drug tested thing. And I was cool with that, but I was like, well, hey, something might come up in the system, so here's what I've done, Rob. Um, anyway, Rob decided to uh, air all that, and like I said, I I asked him not to, uh, and uh, I, I, I honestly thought he was going to respect that, but so be it. Um, he chose not to. Um, what else? Have I missed anything? Yeah. <laughs> So the match, it's incredibly unlikely to happen, obviously, now. Um, not in that fashion, anyway. It might happen someday in, in a different circumstance, but uh, even that's probably unlikely. Uh, end of the day, the uh, the space of arm wrestling right now, it's it's um, it's it's in a weird weird place with the the world's events and all that sort of stuff. So. We will get an opportunity. Uh, Rob made mention that I look. I, I would. I would love to to group Rob in any sense, even if it if I turn up in his part of the world one day. We have a practice pool, whatever. It'll be interesting. I I will always be interested in grouping Rob in some shape, um, in any in any way. Uh, but the match, no, it's not going to happen. The match is not going to happen, and um, we'll go from there. So. I'll leave it at that. Like I said, I'm not going to get involved in an emotional back and forth with Rob on this. Um, definitely not interested in that. He can he can go on being animal from the Muppets all he wants. That's cool. Um, yeah. that's it. So that's it for me, guys. That's the real my side of the story. Uh, I don't know. Rob will, may disagree with anything I just said. I don't think he will. I think he might have different opinions of it. But factually, I'm, that's, that's the way I understood everything. Um, yeah, hopefully that covers everything. So yeah, I don't know guys, from here I'll continue doing what I'm doing here in Australia. I've got, the next big thing for me is a lock on it there and Ryan Scott in only like two and a half weeks, so we're traveling to Perth for that. Um, I don't get the chance to pull Ben Carroll there because Ben's away on work, so I'm not sure. I might group up with some randoms, I might just be side table pulling, but um, yeah, and when, when, <laughs> When the borders situation in Australia opens up and it allows a bit more freedom uh, for me to be able to travel, I will certainly do that. I'm very keen to travel overseas at the next opportunity. And um, when I do, I'll have a match with someone. I don't know who, but when I travel, I will inevitably have a match with someone. And uh, yeah, we'll go from there. But all right, guys, I'm going to leave it there. Um, hope you're well. And. Uh, Wish you all the best, Rob Vigent.